Are there any channels that focus solely on DCU drama? If so, they've been eating good this year. They've been eating good for a long time, actually. Anyway, Henry Cavill's out as Superman. He won't be coming back. Henry Cavill's like the most handsome guy to keep getting stood up at prom. It's ridiculous. He's once again done as Superman, and I think this time it's for reals. Looks like James Gunn's not only taking a flamethrower to the DCU that came before him, he's also salting the earth as well. I wouldn't be surprised if he's thrown it all away, including the stuff he worked on, Suicide Squad and Peacemaker. That's not official. What is, is a social media post by Henry Cavill himself. Let's hear what the ex-Man of Steel had to say. <coughs> I have just had a meeting with James Gunn and Peter Safran, and it's sad news, everyone. I will, after all, not be in returning as Superman. After being told by the studio to announce my return back in October, prior to their hire, this news isn't the easiest. But that's life. The changing of the guard is something that happens. I respect that. James and Peter have a universe to build. I wish them and all involved with the new universe the best of luck. I don't like how he used universe twice there. It's kind of sloppy, but we'll keep going. We can mourn for a bit, but then we must remember, Superman is still around. Everything he stands for still exists, and the examples he sets for us are still there. My turn to wear the cape has passed, but what Superman stands for never will. It's been a fun ride with you all. Onwards and upwards. Those are the facts. He's out. That's a fact. I have opinion. Let's talk about it briefly. I liked Henry Cavill as Superman. I always did. Man of Steel, solid film. Still one of my favorites of the DCEU whatever it was called at the time. Outside of that, he was done pretty dirty. And I do not blame James Gunn for not going back to the well, even though Henry Cavill was fantastic for the role. We never really got to see him though as Superman. We got to see him as a Superman, but not the guy we love from the comics or the old cartoon or even the old series, old movies. He didn't have that love or spice of life about him. He wasn't saving cats out of trees. I believed the Superman Zack Snyder gave us would throw a cat into a tree or into a burning building before he'd save the thing. In my humblest of opinions, this entire disaster stems all the way back to BVS. I don't care what cut you're looking at. The film came out at the wrong time. We did not get introductions to characters properly. They were all shit out. Batman, Wonder Woman, Doomsday, Lex Luthor, all there right away. And you can argue that the Avengers came out before they all had solos, but they established enough going in with a Captain America movie, with an Iron Man movie, with an Incredible Hulk movie, even though they changed the actor. We know who the Hulk is. And the movie was called The Avengers. It wasn't called Hawkeye versus Iron Man. I say Hawkeye, not Captain America, because in the case of Batman v Superman, we didn't have a Batman solo movie. This guy was thrown in day one, introduced as a new character and already fighting the lead. What, why? What a disaster. And then from there on out, the cape was just being dangled in front of Henry Cavill. He never really had the opportunity to put the thing on fully. We see little glimpses of him. He's in the shadows in the background of Peacemaker. He's shot from the chest down at the end of Shazam. Probably not even Cavill there, probably someone completely different. I, I don't honestly know. That's speculation. And then finally, a full reveal again in the end credits of Black Adam. The part of the film almost everyone enjoyed the most, and some even gave it a good score just because of that one scene. I'm even gonna go out on a ledge and say Dwayne Johnson's done as Black Adam. As much as he wants to pretend otherwise, he'll, he'll spin it, of course, because The Rock is a winner. That's the image he portrays, and one that he's gonna stick with, and that's fine, but I think it's all over, folks. This quadruply sucks, though, in the case of Henry Cavill, because A, he looks like him. He's massive. He definitely has charm and charisma in real life. B, we know he can act from other movies and we know he can act even from the Man of Steel. He just didn't get the opportunity to play the Superman we know and love. And that's very unfortunate. It sucks. It sucks. C, he's not doing The Witcher anymore. A show I was really enjoying. When I learned he was leaving, I was out. I don't have any desire to watch season three even though he's in that one because I know where it's gonna end up going without him. Now, people are saying, as they often do, speculation runs wild. What, what the hell happened, by the way, to the internet? Do you remember Ain't It Cool News? If you're younger than like 30, you probably don't, but Ain't It Cool News basically was the only site that did this gossip crap. 
and they were like right half the time if I'm being generous. Now the internet is essentially a giant ain't it cool news with thousands of different outlets reporting stuff all the time. Today alone there was like three or four other big DC stories. I don't know which ones were true, based on hearsay, full blown made up, or debunked for real. James Gunn got rid of some of them, but like even then I'm like is James Gunn just being coy? Is he saying no but meaning yes? I kind of miss the days when movies just came out. <laughs> I kind of liked being in the weeds, you know? Anyway, with The Witcher, it sounds like Henry Cavill might have left because of creative differences, had nothing to do with Superman. It could have been both. Why not both? If he knows he's got a steady paycheck or a big role coming down the pipeline with Superman, it's going to make it easier for him to say like, yeah, I don't agree with this, I'm leaving. But if he doesn't have that cash cow, if he doesn't have that um, consistent check coming in, he might be like, okay, we'll try your way. We'll, we'll, we'll maybe meet in the middle. Not that I don't think Henry Cavill's strapped for cash and I don't think he's gonna have a hard time finding work in the future. This is just me like ranting and rambling because I am genuinely disappointed that he's gone but I also fully understand why. I'm still team James Gunn. I'm excited to see what he does because again, it's not James Gunn's fault that this thing's a complete shit show. He's the guy that's been hired to fix this mess that was left years ago. And not just because of Zack Snyder, but because of Warner Brothers and their terrible decisions. There was a time not that long ago, maybe 12 years back, when the Warner Brothers logo meant something good. It was like, all right, this is a quality brand standard. These guys put out quality products. They had the Harry Potter franchise, the Dark Knight trilogy. They were throwing out films like 300. These guys were doing it right. Some were floating out the idea that they keep Henry Cavill, maybe Gal Gadot, maybe Momoa, some of the favorites, and just kind of reboot their entire character arc from scratch. It's a little too messy. I think I agree with Gunn here. You just gotta rip the bandaid off and start over. It's not like this is the first time we've seen a different Superman, all right? Brandon Roth, RIP, he got one shot and he was done. And he was a good Superman as well. This is certainly not the last firing that's gonna take place. I'm expecting similar news is gonna come out about all of these guys in the coming months. 2023 is gonna be more of the same crap. You're gonna have Blue Beetle, you're gonna have Flash, you're gonna have Aquaman too. But after that, I think we're gonna go quiet for a while and we're gonna see something completely different come out from James Gunn in the DC factory. Oh, the other piece of news was the Batman was gonna be the new jumping off point. James Gunn shot that down. I really hope that's not the case. Keep what's going on with Robert Pattinson separate. That's a, a beautiful little thing they have going there. Let's, let's keep that on its own. And again, I would prefer if they wouldn't do this dumbass universe to begin with. We see how out of hand it has gotten with Marvel. Just make good movies. Focus on individual characters and everything else will just kind of fall into place. We don't have to have them like buddy up all the time. It's just too messy. Then it's like, oh, what's Superman doing this week since he's not in my movie? Oh, well, you know, he's like shackled up on planet whatever. They have him in a Kryptonian chamber. No! No! Just make a bunch of different separate gritty cool films. Call it a day. Put it under the umbrella of DCU. Fair enough? I think so. Let's fictitiously pour one out for Henry Cavill. Wish him the best. And uh, I think we're gonna see some great things from him still to come. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Is this a huge disaster? Have they lost their mind over there? Or is this just inevitable and something that they need to do to move forward the right way? Let me know in the comments below. Like the video if you had a good time. Please think about subscribing if you haven't. I post tons of movie related content each and every week. I would love to see you stick around the channel. Take care. What's that over there? A bird? A plane? Nah, it's my second channel, Adam After Dark. Just started it like a week ago. I already have a few videos. It's very dumb. It's very silly. Short two to three minute skits on random stuff. I'm having a good time. Let's me express my creative juices all over the internet. And I'm all about that, baby. All about it. I would love if you join me over there as well. I could put some juice on you. Please think about subscribing. It's a good time. I'm also on Patreon at Adam Does Movies. If you want to show some support for the holidays, you can become a YouTube join member. I'm on TikTok. I'm around. There's a, there's a whole link tree of places you can find me in the description.